This video will show you how to create a precast column packet foundation. Okay, let's start with this column. So I have this uh, four meter column, all right? It's a 300 by 300, and the height is 400, uh, 4,000 millimeter, wherein the bottom of the column is uh, 500 millimeter from the uh, finished floor line or the grid line. All right, so let's see, uh, measure this one. So from here to the uh, grid line, so I have 500 millimeter. So uh, since this one is a uh, packet foundation, so we need to create a uh, trapezoidal uh, foundation here and then we need to, to cut that one uh, accordingly. Okay, so let's start adding the uh, foundation. Okay, let's redraw this one and then let's go to this concrete and then beam. So with this beam, we can type here foundation, and then from the profile, let's go to the uh, uh, variable profile, and then you can see here PRMD, which is also known as a pyramid. Okay, so as you can see, um, I'm going to use the default value here, apply and okay. And then what should I do? What will I do here is uh, I'm going to Pick on this point, okay, and then then going down, okay. Let's say I have 800 millimeter, and there you go. So I have now this uh, pyramid, but uh, the smaller part should be at the top, and then the bigger part should be at the bottom. So I'm going to modify this one. Let's say this is uh, 800 by 800, and then the bottom will be one meter by one meter and then modify okay and then reposition change the plane to middle and then there you go so i have now this uh, um, foundation or i can say the the packet foundation okay so now uh, maybe i'll just add another uh, foundation here let's say I, I i click at the the bottom of this trapezoid part and then let's say i have uh, Let's say another 400, but this time I'm going to change this one to uh, 1,500 by 1,500 size. All right, and then add to cushion it, and then that will be one part. Now uh, let's add the uh, the packet here. So I'm going to use again the same um, profile. We need to pick the beam first and then change it to. 500 to 500 and then this one is 400 400 and then change this one to to no, pick one and then control two so that we can see what's inside so let's say i am going to add another uh, 600 here there you go and then control four so we can now edit and then part cut pick the part to be cut this one and then control to pick this red one there you go control four again so that we can now delete uh, the the red part which is our cutting part and now we have to do the clip plane so that we can see the shape of our foundation so this one is the socket now okay next is uh, we're going to uh, to add now the uh, the rib inside the column okay so that the uh, the aggregates will hold on to that one uh, so all I have to do is to select this part and then and then hide and then here I'm going to add now the concrete beam again but this time poly beam all right so I, I'm going to let's say put here 50 by 20 so the, th the thickness is 20, then height is uh, 50, and then uh, let's say middle, middle. For the meantime, I'm going to use that. So click 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then don't close it. Don't close it. And then middle button of mouse. So because if you close that one, it will, it will have a uh, solid error. So the moment that you create this uh, polygon, beam I'm go you can now move the handle here and then 
you can have now a full poly beam all right so now we can change again the uh, um, the uh, the view okay and we can change this one to middle this one is fine and then let's say front modify oh sorry this one should be middle and then this one should be right or left sorry so actually I, I should I should use this positioning much easier but anyway I'm going to move this one now move let's say 100 okay and then control 2 edit part cut select again the column and select this polybeam there you go control 4 again so that we can delete this polybeam and then select the cut copy linear so from this point to let's say 100 okay so this one is the uh, uh, the distance 100 the direction is z and then let's say 4 copy so there you go so you have now the rib here and then right click redraw and clip plane so this one is how you create the uh, precast column packet foundation okay or packet footing all right, so now if you are happy with this one, all you have to do is to select everything, select everything, right click, and then copy to another object. So pick this column and then pick the other column, then other column and other column. So mostly this packet foundation is used for the uh, boundary walls. Now this is um, how you create it manually, but if you want to create it uh, using the uh, uh, system component, all you have to do is to go to this application and component and type here foundation. So here you have the precast foundation block. And I think this one is much easier because all you have to do is again uh, add the parameters here. So you can see the... the uh, the clearance here so if you like let's say uh, 50 clearance 50 from different side add that one and then uh, you can see how you can uh, pick the uh, position whether on the uh, on the grid line or at the bottom of the uh, the column so let's say the bottom of the column so you can have the adjustment and then you can see the size of the uh, the the foundation here the parts okay so all you have to do is to Click the column and then pick the bottom of this column and that's it so you have already the packet foundation and again if you want to add some groove here you can change here to let's say 50 then this one is 50 and then here let's say 100 then this one is 20 and then number of good groups let's say 4 then modify apply and okay okay so once you have this uh, uh, packet foundation here, all you have to do is to select this uh, uh, macro and then select the three column and then pick the bottom part and then there you go. So you have now the packet foundation, the one we create manually and then the one using the system component. Thank you.